Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. We are continuing on with our Paladin run. In previous three games we won all of them. And now we are playing versus another Paladin in our fourth game. So let's see, this starting hand isn't the best so we replace the three cards. We keep him the protector, he is great at the start. Yeah, much better hand now. We got the Berserker. I always love to play the Berserker on the start. He's such a good card. If you can enrage it and keep it alive, it's quite devastating. Let's see what he plays for 2 mana. Let's give, give us a fodder. No, he doesn't. He's smart. So let's bubble the Berserker for now. It won't be wasted. We have more damage on the board. Ah, and he dropped the Scout Crusade. Yeah, it's better that we bubbled our Berserker. Nice, and we got the Torrent. We can now trade the bubbles. And if he wants to trade the Crusader for the Torren, be my guess. We just continue on making 4 damage with Berserker and Protector. Let me... Yes, so... He traded his crusade for our, for our torrent. That's pretty fine for us. Let's now see. And he's dropping out of Peacekeeper. And he is making us a harder work to enrage our Berserker, but it will work. We can enrage Berserker on our, without our Auto Peacekeeper on his Auto Peacekeeper. Some inception, right? And now our Berserker only lost one attack. Nice, he's buffing his auto peacekeeper and trading with our berserker. Proper play by him. Now let's see, we got the 5 mana. We can bubble up our auto peacekeeper and trade our bubble with the cleric and drop a our recruit. Hmm, to go for the face or trade with the recruits? Always trade with the recruits because. Paladin's got blessings or might, blessings or kings, bubbles. It's better to have a clear board. Nice. He can trade again hold his side of the board without losing anything with freezing the fire seer. Now all the peace keep on the eyes of a hunter. And now other protector on the peak. Yeah, this is looking quite good for us, as you can see, we have huge board control, almost same amount of the cards. He doesn't drop a, a Consecration soon, it will be quite hard for him to win. Bring me steel. Nice, the Hammer of Wrath, can it again trade hold his side of the board without losing a single mob? This is my but let's save the consecration for later. Who knows what he has in play? In like this, we completely cleared his side, and he has only three cards in the hand. Yeah. Since we use the hammer of wrath, it's better to save consecration to finish him. He has some taunting or stuff. And the Wolf Rider. Yeah, there is nothing more to say. It's pretty much a GG as you can see. You can now trade the Wolf Rider with his Swordsmith and one recruit. We again have a completely clear board. And he is only on 12 health left. That means next turn he might die. Sorry bro, 
I didn't mean to win like this. We got a perfect win as you saw. He didn't manage to make a single damage on us. It's our fourth win in the row. So let's go on on the next match. And now we are fighting a druid. Let's see, versus druid we don't need the consecrations on the start. They usually have a slower start for this arena, who knows. I in one, one time played the mage without a single spell because I didn't get a single spell. Yeah, nothing to play this turn. Well met. I'm trying to turn this around as you can see. After the last patch you can get different skins on the tent. Hmm. I think the Wolf Rider would be the better choice to play. I don't want to risk losing a Demolisher. Demolisher is so devastating card if you can play it at the early game, but yeah, better not to risk it. And now the war again. Hmm. We lack one mana for demolition and humility and organ. So, let's see, we can humility and protector on the board, but he would be 2-2 two, two with 2-3. Two, with Wind Fury, so yeah, it's probably the best for us to pass the turn. Alright, Mr. Bitey. It's pretty hard to play anything now. Oh, nice, he's enraging his own Vorgan. It makes it clear then, we probably have to consecrate. Yeah, let's consecrate this this board. Quite nice lead the druid got. But the game just started. Got a good value from his Wargan. He made like 11 damage or so. But it's time for us to return to this game. A Torrent with Divine Shield. Just wait now for the Blood Knight. Alright, Gadget Auctioneer. It's pretty hard to use that card in Arena, since you don't know how many spells you will get. Yeah, let's use Double Bubble. <laughs> double Bubble for the win, right? And finish off the Gadget. As you can see, we got a, again a board control. Oh, nice! He's dropping a goal. Now, if he can swipe, yeah, he's swiping and buffing his goal quite good. Five free go goal, and nah, demolition missed. That's quite a shame. But we got a humility for that. It's good I saved the humility for the goal. Of course, let's go to Northland. Victory or death. Come on, Demolisher, hit that protector. Ah, he is again going for the face. You can never trust a goblin inside the tank. I hope you like my nice, another another lot of the arena. Let's hope next turn he doesn't swipe again. Our oh, big guy. <laughs> this is worse than swipe. But if you have a solution for him as well, we got our auto peacekeeper. Nice. 
he hit the right target. Hmm. Let's see what what can we do. We can tear down novice with the, with his cobalt. Yeah, we got the chill in the Yeti. Yeah, this is probably the best for us. And reducing the attack damage on the Storming Champion. We can finish the champion next turn. If we don't get a silence. It's pretty costly, but yeah. Oh no, here comes the Iron Bike, why not? This guy, in all of this game, got a perfect hand, perfect draw that is. Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, everything that, that works together. Let's see, best we can do is now pass the turn <laughs> and hope for the silence. Yeah. He'll make uh, 11 damage on us. 11 damage or, or 17 damage maximum with Savage Row. So, but if he goes for the face, we can still win this if we get uh, like a silence, I think. Oh, this will hurt. Boom. Come on, what do you play? Does he have a bite? Nope, no no bite. So we have one more turn to figure how to deal with this. Oh, and Spellbreaker. Finally some luck for us. Let's count the damage. Yep, 18 damage on the board if he sacrifice the recruit. So GG Mr. Drood, GG. Such a lucky bastard he is, but not to complain, we got the right guide in the right moment. As you can see, now we can silence the silence his tree and make 18 damage with other guys. Hmm, and consecration to ice the cake. Nice. <laughs> What a big bastard. Wow, in this game we got pretty lucky at the end. But it is good, we didn't have any luck in the early and mid game without draws. So it evens out. Quite interesting match it was. Usually this guy, Divine Favor, yeah. Usually it doesn't draw me any single card, but this time <laughs> it worked pretty good. And for our 6th match we got fight Jaina. Let's hope she doesn't have 3 or 4 flame strikes. Nice. Another great start, as you can see. We got a fairy dragon and the protector. Fairy dragon is quite lethal versus the mages, since they can't, since they can't target with spells or heal power. And now might destroy the blaster corsair. I absolutely love to open a pack. And see four commons and one blood sacred. Uh, who doesn't like that? <laughs> or the chicken. <laughs> Alright, he dropped the worgen. Nice, nice. We can humiliate the worgen and age our berserker. But nah, let's save the humility for the later. Since we got the protector and we can trade the bubble with the worker. 
I could go Humility, but I don't want to risk. We got only two Humility in the deck. So yeah. And one auto piece keeper that's all CC we got. No swords, no buffs, so better to play it safe. Boy mana, he can't out us yet. Perhaps he got a cobalt with Arcan Explosion, but probably doesn't. This is Arena. A secret. So let's see, find Zai Summoner. We can bait with her. Is it a mirror image? Yeah, it is a mirror image. Find Zai Summoner isn't the best card after the patch, but it's quite useful nonetheless. Oh, this must hurt her quite a lot. 5 turn. She might blizzard us now. If she doesn't blizzard. It's pretty much a win for us. She pings the Berserker, our ghoul will get buffed, so yeah. Blizzard or lose, bro? What do we play? And he plays his ghoul. Doesn't matter, we got humility and the BGH. And the Consecration. So one recruit in the ghoul. And the Protector. Our goal is getting strong, <laughs> as you can see, only 7 health he's left with. It seems this will be another perfect win for us. Yeah, this three runs, one lucky and two perfect, perfect wins. Quite strange that happens. Alright, the Polymorph. That means he can't wipe the board. Let's see. And we got the win. Yeah. Sorry, mage. We all knew like the paladin. Consecration for the win. Six souls so far. Not bad. Not bad at all. One game lucky. Other games we, we owned. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time.